any of you guys back there from the 70s but you could roll this guy up pretty tight if you're picking up what I'm laying down. <laughs> What's going on guys? How are you doing today? Great, fantastic. Spitting all over the place because I'm trying to chew gum at the same time. Let's get rid of the gum. <clears throat> well, anyway, I'm headed back out to the shelter hoping the homeless haven't found it yet <laughs> or anybody else. Still can't really see it all that well. I think it did a pretty good job. Anyway, today I'm gonna, if you've been following this uh, little series that I'm throwing together here of the shelter, today I'm gonna put up the roll up uh, front door, plastic style door. And then uh, maybe a chair or something. And uh, dig out a fire pit. I don't have a lot of time today, but uh, got a few hours to get out here and tinker around, see what we can do. Check it out. It does a pretty good job. I think so. Well, she is still standing. Hello. All right. Still looking good. All right. For those of you who don't know, this is where I'm going to put the roll up door. So, right here, I'm going to make this whole system be able to roll down. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but if it's come winter, I'm only going to want really just here. Actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll probably go plastic um, roll up here that I can do. Um, and then this, its own little roll up door, that's what I'll do instead of one giant. Yeah, see, you know, you just got to figure these things out, man. Just get out here and tinker around and get a game plan going and run with it. So yeah, we're going to do the door, the wall door. A little fire pit, maybe a little chair set up. And tinker around, huh? All right, let's do that. I found two dead standing trees. So, I'm gonna shave everything off that can poke uh, the tarp to get the best I can anyway. So I'm gonna use this. This one's gonna be my bottom one. Do. I'm gonna keep it to length, roll it up, and then I'm gonna cut it. Keep it though, how do I explain this a little better? Keep it the whole width of what I'm going to use a little bit longer because I want the overlap of the plastic to be about a foot or so. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Or maybe do the whole thing and just do a cutout for. I don't know. Let's just get creative, huh? We just about perfect length. Might want to do it on the outside. I think I am. I'm going to put it on the inside. I'm around this whole wall. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a slit in it. And I'm going to run another piece over that. So it's just like a door. I think that's what I'm going to run with. 
I can always change it if I don't like it. Still have a lot of thatching to be done too. But in the meantime, every time I come back, I'm taking branches, just bending them, smashing them, mangling them into a, something that's gonna uh, help fill the void. Ta da! <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of that to do. But I think I am gonna do though, honestly. I know I said I wasn't gonna plastic inside. But they have those tarps. And you go pick up a simple like Ozark Trail one, I think that's what it is. It has a brown on the outside, silver on the inside. And with the front door on, if I were to do that, I know, because hot air rises. So what I'm thinking is if I put a stove in here, that would definitely keep. I mean, if I just cut it down the middle and I did it like four foot around the top, pull their sinks, that'll be able to go out. I don't know. Something to think about. I might do that. Just wing it. No, I'm in the. If I were to do that, that'd act as a nice insulating barrier. I don't know, I just might. It's your imagination. Run with it. Pretty cool. I was thinking too, on the sides, I should have, uh, I could have put my sticks vertically and cut them off. A little easier too, but the way I did it, it would have been really hard to do it like debris style, like I was thinking. So, with that being said, do wait now. This east wall is the worst one yet, it needs a lot of patching. So, it's gonna take a little bit of loving to get her going. What I'm doing is Stuffing it outside, and then go around and I'll weave it through. And we'll definitely have to trim a lot of this crap. It's the only thing that sucks about it being debris style. Live and you learn, right? Hey. Yeah, we're gonna learn to down drive. <laughs> Plus, with me doing it on the inside, it's gonna keep the plastic inside further so nothing can come in through the top. This is 3.5 mil, 10 by 25, good old Walmart. 750. just so I can tuck the sides in. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprawl this out, put the top one on together, stick it up, let it hang down, then roll up. There you go. We have a game plan. Okay, so what I want to do is get the sharp objects off the ground. I'll try not to step on this. How's everybody's day going? Hope you're having a great day. Halloween's just around the corner. Everything's gonna get a little spooky. You already know it's spooky. I think it's spooky.
big plans? Any of you guys gonna go trick or treating? <laughs> Take the kiddos. That's always a plus. I did have paracord, but guess what? Left its elsewhere. Oh my god, there's a freaking mouse! There's a mouse running down. He's right behind the camera. He's running along the fort. That's it. Where'd he go? Ah, oh, where the heck did he go? That's not good. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm intruding into his space. Where'd he go? There he goes. Right there. Hang on. Where'd he go? Maybe we can see him from the outside. He's hiding amongst the debris. Dang it. He's right there. I don't know if you see him. He's sneaky. See him moving, Bradley? There he is. Anyway, that's a mouse. There's a mouse in my house. Anyway, I don't know if I got that out before I started scurrying for the mouse. Um, did bring paracord, but left it in the car. So, I do have that little bit of string that I left here. So, that is what we're going to use. Whistling Dixie. Okay. Though. Put it right on the edge, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll it up in there, and then tie it together, and then tie it up top. Now the key is trying to hang this by myself. That's gonna be a toughie. Maybe I can get a stick to wedge one end, or wedge both ends to hold it up. And then uh, see what happens from there. Or maybe I can just stab it into the debris and then tie it. 
Yeah, maybe we'll try that. Looks like a rip over here. Yeah, we'll come in a little on this side. We'll make it work. The good thing about this too, I think if it does get smoky in here, the smoke's gonna come up and then go out the top. Theoretically. If you've seen some of my other uh, <laughs> um, overnighters in the hot tent things that I made, <laughs> surprised I'm still alive. Hey, what you live and you learn. Huh. Yeah. side as well to help hold the bottom in place in this case you get snagged up on it or something when you're trying to go in there after too many brewskis or something <laughs> bingo something like so nice sharp easy bottom knock your edges off so when you pound it in it doesn't help uh doesn't fray it apart so bad One more. Now I bought this hatchet a while back. Uh, it's cool and all. I tell you what, I miss my my little eight dollar Harbor Freight hatchet. That Harbor Freight one comes with a crappy bevel on it, so you have to take it on the grinder and smooth it out to make it flat. Nice and a nice little cutter like these ones, but I mean for eight dollars if you do that with a grinder I think I mean and it's guaranteed for life it has a plastic handle, but I Like that hatchet You don't have to worry so I let my buddy use this And he thought he can hack down a dang tree with it. I don't know if you can see it But it's there's a hairline crack in that and that was the first time I ever took this out He took it and started beating away on it Big old freaking log. Obviously didn't know what he's doing. And uh like, what are you doing? Don't do that. That's what a stamp sauce for. That thing's way too big. Saw an axe, not a hatchet. It's too big of a job for a hatchet. But yeah. That's that. Before you roll it up though. Don't leave your hammer, hatchet, hammer and log, whatever, outside. Okay. Uh. Alright, we'll 
good thing about this too, come summer, I could just roll this whole thing out. You know, let all the mosquitoes in to nail you in the face. And nail you in the face. Yep. Let's cut our door. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. I'm going to put one here. Maybe I should put a stick here. Stick here. So my uh, door can roll down. Maybe. I don't know. Sure. Perfect. Giving birth to a tiny gazelle. Get some natural cordage my door that's all I'm doing I'm just twisting it tied in a knot and twist it around the top push it tight and then once it all dries and hardens that thing is not going to come off. I'm definitely going to have to cut it off. Alright, I weaved it through and weaved it back through. And it turned out pretty good. Don't mind this side because I didn't do it all the way down that side. So, just being honest. But yeah, you live and you learn. I didn't know it was going to turn out like that. I was like, hey, wing dang it, flip it back through here, tie it that way. Hey, that looks kind of nice. Run with it. Okay, this is all I did. I just tied it up to the outside. It's sitting about however far off and all I did is tie a little lug on the bottom because I want to be able if I want to be able to leave it down be able to leave it down and just be able to come in and out without rolling without rolling it up and then have to come in and out this way it's constantly blocking stuff from going in and out so run with it yeah, I think it's going to work not too shabby. I might even put another one next to that out there. But if the wind's blowing in, that's going to block everything from coming in. Put a little X on that wall just to hold the plastic against the little wall there. Little wall there. Yeah, this side needs some thatching. I'm probably going to do that batch the crap out of this side and then uh, possibly throw a chair together all right so this is where I'm gonna do my fire pit get that crap out of the way I'm gonna have a lot of wood to chop up burn that's for sure this is just a oh, put my eye out again a little Col uh, Coleman uh, I call it trench shovel, I believe. It is not fancy, none of that crazy fancy stuff. But what I did do, I took it to the grinder as well. So you can take the side of it, if need be, do a little bit of chopping. You can't beat the crap out of it because it's just a flimsy Coleman, so but
Boom. Yeah, I'm thinking right here. They're just fine. Too crazy. Just gonna dig enough out, or I can keep a contained fire. It's fall. Fall is definitely set in. Everything's changed colors. Everything's falling off the trees. The leaves are gonna be really flammable. Take up really easy. So I don't want to burn the place down. Perfect. Start a fire today or anything, but we can make it look like there's gonna be one there. <laughs> We're not gonna do up the chair. Got the bench. Probably do the chair up out here as well. Or maybe I should do the chair inside. I don't know. I could always take it inside, so. I don't know why I'm doing that either. Let's make a chair. All right, so I got four sticks. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make one of those V chairs. It's gonna go like so. Something like that. You just tie your tops and your sides, and then you add your sticks along the back. I should have enough to tie everything up with that uh, little uh, twine that I have. And then I'm gonna come back and reinforce it with the paracord. But let's give it a shot, huh? So I got my V's tied out. I know this is a good height. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use that as a template pretty much. I'll put that like that. And then uh, I'm going to tie these here and here. Like so. I'm just pulling it tight. Do it enough times. Theoretically, it'll hold your butt. I mean, the ladder held, so that's a plus. Well. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> this is supposed to be a tripod style, like the three. And then that one through there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one back here to the bottom of that one. Because if I sit on it, it's just going to make me do a backflip. So I don't want to do a backflip. Alright, now that we've got that misunderstanding under control. And if you do it right the first time, you save a lot of string. So it's the three, like a tripod. And then the two. And you can use this bottom one to help uh, wedge it in there so uh, it ain't going to go anywhere. So now we can put a, a seat on there, test it out, see if we do a front flip. We just might. Uh, give it a whirl. I'm going to try to make sure you get all the knots and stuff off. You don't want one of those in the old keister. It's nice to tie those off as well. But I am about out of rope, so we'll have to tie that up next time. Gonna have to sit in the back. Let's give it a shot, huh? Ugh. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah. I did have to tie that uh, the tripod end to that bottom V piece. Here, I'll show you. I 
I did tie it down there. Just so it. So I wouldn't pull out when I try to sit down. Perfect. I like it. It's nice and comfy. Beautiful. I do have a lot of cleaning up around here to do. Like all the trees that I did cut down. Cut the stumps down farther. Should have just done that in the first place. But with that, uh, that bow reel. It's hard to get flat like it is with my silky. Um, further to the ground anyway. Without busting the crap out of your knuckles. So I got a lot of that. I got a lot of debris. To clean up around here. Probably do up another bench eventually and stuff, but I think she's ready for a camp out. What do you think? I think soon I'm gonna have to get out here and get that going. Everything's tied up at home. So, yeah. But, I'm out of time for today. I'm gonna have to get skedaddling. And next time I come out, I'm gonna uh, clean up. What I'm gonna do with the branches though, I'm gonna put like a perimeter, kinda, so you can hear. I mean, if something's trying to come through, because there's, there's train tracks, of course, coming in here, and that's the Hobo Highway. I don't wanna be out here in the middle of the night and then have somebody come to, trying to stab me in my sleep, pretty much. So, that would help as a early warning system, I suppose. And for some of you who are, um, few videos back when I was hiking uh, in California and I pulled off the trail uh, I missed my kids really bad my throat was affecting me uh, supposed to have a told me to keep it posted so what's going on with that is uh, supposed to have uh, like an ultrasound in my throat going by the touch they don't feel anything crazy going on but who knows until you do like the ultrasound stuff but um, thinking more leaning more towards like a, a severe like acid reflex that's affecting my esophagus I believe that's what they weren't very clear you know how the doctors are like well you know I'll have poke and prod you and then they're like hey well, well we'll be in touch and then go to this place and drink this and we'll look at it and then we'll put some lube on your neck and do this to it you know they haven't been too clear but I was told to uh, stay away from soda pop and beer so it looks like I'm not drinking any more soda pop. Because <laughs> the beer's gonna keep going. But uh, like pepper, onions, like salt and pepper, pepper. I had a little bit of pepper on some eggs this morning and that even affected me. Um, but yeah, besides the point, it's coming along out here. One step closer. Let's get out there and build something, man. Why not tinker around? Anyway guys, thanks for coming along. Camping will be coming soon. I'll be able to pull an overnighter. Um, and hopefully we can get a, a few a days in, something like that. Keep on rolling. Make every day great exploring Earth. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Have a great day now. Okay? Mm -hmm. See you later.